Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Parts Bin. Today's a fun day because I got Josh here because he's our big tester of this turbo right here. We have kind of mentioned this turbo like in podcasts and other videos. We've had a lot of comments. When are you releasing this? Well, we're finally ready. And you have been testing this for a long time. Yes, yeah, so I installed it uh, right when I got my 17 Ram Dually. I wanted to put a different turbo on it because I was looking at the mileage of my truck and I did not want to be stranded with a failed actuator because that's kind of what these things are known for. Yes. We tried actually building some of these and testing them with the stock actuator and we just did not have the success rate we were comfortable with. It's kind of industry standard. And I don't think it's worse than anybody else, but it kind of sucks. Yeah. And so we decided to go with the billet you know, city diesel actuator. This isn't, a, we actually partnered with them and these are their actuators that we're putting on our turbos. And uh, they're awesome because they tend not to fail. Yeah, I, I mean, I have eight or 9,000 miles on my turbo, which I know is not a ton of miles, but we tow my 53 foot enclosed race trailer. Um, we go over uh, I-70 through Denver. So you're going through Vail Pass, you're going through Eisenhower Pass. Uh, anytime I come up here to visit Power Driven, I go over the grades coming out of California into Nevada. And then I have to climb from St. George all the way to Cedar. So we, I mean, I've been very, very impressed with the drivability at elevation, I think is, is a big thing. And just the EGT control that I have uh, with this turbo. And you're not going particularly light. So we're about 34. So the last time I weighed it fully loaded when we went to UCC and back, we were 34,000 pounds. Uh, that's truck and trailer. And that is a heavy load for a one ton pickup truck. It's a way lot. It's a lot. But you've had great results with it so far. It's been really awesome. Yeah, it, it has been very, very nice. I did notice for myself personally, like the truck did pick up a little bit of power. Now, I don't know if you can always harness all of that extra power towing, but unloaded, it is very, very peppy. And uh, it drives very, very nice. So what this turbo is, it's a 63 millimeter compressor wheel paired with a 70 by 64 millimeter turbine wheel. Uh, most people in the aftermarket do a 70 by 67 turbine wheel. We just want a little more trim because we want that peppy, like you see, we live at elevation. I want it to work at elevation. So having that more trim on the turbine wheel, this makes it more responsive, get more power out of it. And of course, this guy here, this is a very expensive piece to put on this turbo, but I feel it's well worth it to not leave you stranded somewhere or things like that. Like it's good money spent, I, I think. And what I, one thing I will say, I've driven a lot of different aftermarket VGT turbochargers in the 63 millimeter compressor variety. The one thing I will say that really made me glad I purchased this turbo over other ones was the actuator responds faster. So like when you're coming down and you're exhaust braking like down Eisenhower Pass, the engine wants to be at 3000 RPM engine braking. What I've seen is the stock actuator sometimes takes a little bit longer to get to where it needs to be to exhaust brake. And this one, like it's it's an on off switch. Like you turn the exhaust brake on and that thing, 3,200 RPM, 1,800 RPM, it reacts super fast. And I don't, wouldn't, I don't have enough data to say it exhaust brakes harder, but it holds it and it gets there quick. Yeah. So I don't, I don't wanna mislead anybody, yeah. but it, it reacts very, very fast. Yeah, this turbo is very similar to what's on the market. I mean, all the turbos out there are good, the real thing that sets it apart is this guy here because the, the factory holds the one, like for one, is weak and uh, they just fail. This is an expensive unit, and, but this is really nice because there's no core charger on this. This is a brand new turbo. Just we sell it to you, we send it to you as is. You don't have to calibrate anything, you just plug it in. You got to plug it in, right? Yeah, I, I did forget. The, the only thing with, with this one, they fit all the years of the 6, 7, 4th gen style, and I didn't plug it in. So if you want to hear the world's most loud whistle, <laughs> I didn't have it plugged in. It was very whistly, but I, I would recommend to, to plug it in. Yeah, it works better that way. So. And so, so yeah, so right now we are facing you know, obviously the coated painted version or the raw version. They're engraved. And uh, yeah, these have worked really well. We've got a lot of miles on them. He's probably got the most of them so far. The Myers running these with other people running these. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this turbo because it's at the same price point as everybody else. There's no core and you get this way awesome build actuator. This is the best thing on the market that we have found as far as actuators are concerned. And so I'm really excited about this turbo. So these are now available. We've been hinting about this for, like I say, probably a couple of weeks, maybe even a couple of months. And uh, we just want to get everything right and finished. And so anyway, guys, these are available at powerdriven.com and uh, they're awesome. And um, yeah, head there and gears today. You guys are also going to include this speed shaft O-ring. Yes. Right, which is one of the most overlooked gaskets on any of these aftermarket 
VGTs, and this is no shade, but you pull the speed sensor out when you remove your old turbo, a lot of times it gets stuck in the core. You box up your core, you ship it out, you fire that thing up. It doesn't leak right away, but once the oil starts to thin out, all of a sudden you have this leak, and that is not an O-ring that I found was readily available all the time. So a lot of guys, I know when I see an aftermarket one, I pull it up, they'll be silicone, and I know exactly what happened. The O-ring got stuck in the core because you want your money back. Yeah. And I think the no core and then coming with some of the gaskets that aren't always included is going to make for a much better install. Yeah, our goal is to make this like you guys can do this in your garage. You don't have to pay a shop. Now you're welcome to, sure, but all the parts are there. So you can do this in your shop, in your garage, in a weekend, pretty easy, honestly. There's a lot of value to that, not having to find the little like crush washers and that, like like I said, that O-ring is a very big deal. Yeah, yeah, so all that stuff is included. And um, and these are ready to go. These are exciting turbos. I'm very excited about this turbo because we've had a, a huge demand for this because it is such a problem in the, you know, I mean, there's a lot of years as turbo services and this fails on a lot of trucks. So having this thing ready to go, easy, just purchase it, no core, take yours out, put this one in, everything's there for you to install. It should be a good unit and we're really excited to have this and, and uh, it's gonna be very fun, so. All right, so in the world of VTT turbos, a lot of companies aftermarket, they focus on the compressor side. The compressor side is important, that creates your airflow. But what a lot of people haven't spent a lot of time focusing on is the exhaust, the turbine side. Oh yeah, for sure. And so when we came out with these turbos, we there, we had a lot of different uh, wheel profiles that we wanted to play with, different sizes, different options, different blade counts that we wanted to play with. And so I did a lot of that testing and um, that's how we came up with what we have here. And it's crazy, you wouldn't really think there's a lot of like, oh, you can you can tune around it with the VGT. Like you can tighten it up, you can loosen it up. There's some things that was not easy to tune around. Like you couldn't tune around it. And so you could like get it halfway and it would work okay. But this turbine wheel here is the one that I loved how it drove. It really drove, a, of all the bigger turbine wheels and bigger turbos, it drove the most like stock and it was able to have good EGT control, good drive to boost ratios, even at those lower RPMs, but it still flowed more and made that power up top. And so that's why well, we went with did a little more extreme testing too, because yeah. I have one of these on my truck as a single turbo yep. and it works great. Yep. And I've had a 10 and a 12 blade and a couple different versions, 60 mil compressor. And I think right now I have this exact model yep. in we, my truck. We finish now. off with this one and it, and I like it. It it seems to have a little bit better EGT control. It seems to spool a little bit better oh, yeah. than what I was running before. And the power is there. It's like still making 500 plus horse. On my truth truck. be told, like we did all that turbo swapping on your truck. And then you had the truck for a while. And then I got it back to mess with some trans stuff. And I drove it. And I was like, what turbo did we leave on here? Was it stock? Or was it this one? And I popped the hood. I was like, dude. And a lot of people at low elevation, like, yeah, a bigger turbine, doesn't matter what it is. It might drive just fine. But when you start talking about towing over grades or really working the truck at low RPM, that's where having the right turbine wheel really shines. And that's where I was like, we're at 5,800 feet. I was like, I had to pop the hood to see what turbo you still had on this thing. I was like, dude, I like had a smile on my face. I was like, this is the this thing works. That's awesome. Now you've taken this testing a step further though, because you have yep. compound turbos on yours. So yeah, what's the compounds? And then and then so the there. compound is a um, one of these turbos um, with a aggressor 480 on top of it, and it does it does a smidge over. It does about 1100 horse. I love actually a little smidge over 1100 horse. It's a fun driving the tire <laughs> to the tire. It's a I tow tire. I tow in the. It's about a 700 horse tune with that thing, and this turbo um i we've played with a couple different ones i had i stuck with a different profile for a while just because it was the last turbo to test and then i went back to this one recently and it's just so much better um the it has boost and egt it has egt control all the way down to like 14 1500 rpm i can make 20 pounds of boost and just like pull a grade when i shouldn't be doing that just fine no egt issues but it loves the i mean the factory turbo did okay in that lower RPM, but once you got past 2000 RPM, the, you could just tell based on boost and drive and everything, it was choking up a little bit. Boost was higher than it needed to be, and EGTs would drive was kind of skyrocketing yeah, it as was, well. Because in that below 2000, a stock turbo in the compound arrangement could keep one to one. You start getting over 2000, that's where it started to struggle and lose that ratio. These turbos, um, this one here is carrying the one to one boost the drive to about 2400 or so, and then past that, um, it's just way better than the stock turbo. You're still like 1.1 drive to boost at like 26, 2800 RPM, but it's 
it's just flowing and it's doing it's doing it all all at a little bit lower boost but it's keeping that egt control and so i was very very happy with how that worked um so this turbo is working more efficient than a stock turbo kind of like a bigger turbo but it also has the low end range that's, covered you can throw hard to yeah get. you can throw a big turbine wheel into a turbo and have high end power like no problem anyone you can basically throw any big turbine into that and have it work but having it just work on every situation and match the vgt well that's where like we had to go through a couple to find the one that was going to work for us and this one's working good so yeah and i even like um i went in and towed to an event um a couple of days ago and that's um i sent you guys a screenshot i was making 30 pounds of boost and 20 pounds 27 pounds of drive at 1900 rpm with 1240 degree gts that's pretty good and pulling a grade pulling a grade yep with gross in probably about twenty six thousand pounds pulling a grade <laughs> i was like this is great <laughs> Those are lower than stock EGT numbers, so people aren't familiar yeah, it, with EGT numbers. So it does pretty well. I mean, compounds makes a big difference, but the turbo is very capable. Oh yeah, big part sure. of it. So anyway, guys, head on over to PowerDriven.com if you want to pick up your own VGT63. These are great turbo. They're flying off the shelves, and um, it's got that billet actuator. It's very oh, yeah. reliable. So I, yeah, I love my billet actuator. I, I've said it in podcasts. I've gone through three genuine whole set actuators. And this one has been the one, like all my turbo testing has been on just the same actuator, swapping it onto each turbo. It's been great. <laughs> it keeps going. So we've been testing these over a year now. So oh, I mean, way it's over. It's a long, long time to get this. But this, we feel like, is a nice, polished, ready to go. Yeah. You won't regret it. Put it on your truck. <laughs> For sure.